YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we got some Gabriel Iglesias content to check out. This right here is Frankie Has Siri. I had collect calls, but before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one, man? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. I look forward to problems. I like problems because if there's problems, Frankie and I can work on it together to find a solution, right? And I see that as a great form of bonding. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys. Sometimes it's expensive. Yeah, you're laughing, let me tell you. <laughs> like one time they took his iPhone from school and he comes home and he's all devastated, right? He's like, Dad, Dad, I gotta talk to you. I'm like, what? Tell me what? They stole my phone. I'm like, that's why you're talking. <laughs> and I started laughing, he goes, it's not funny. I go, you have no idea how funny it is. I go, so what happened, Frankie? So they, they broke into my locker at school and they took my iPhone, they took my friend's iPhone, and if we go to the school right now, we can fill out a report. We know exactly who did it. Can we go to the school right now? I go, listen, Frankie, I'd love to, but I'm really, really tired. I just got off a flight and I guess, you know, I'm, I'm really, really tired. I promise you tomorrow morning, I'll take you early. I'll help you fill out the report and we'll turn it in. Can we go right now? I go, Frankie, seriously, I'm just, please, tomorrow. <laughs> I need my phone. I go, listen, Frankie, you can handle one day without your phone. He's not getting his way, so he turns around and he yells at the ground and he goes, they took my phone! <laughs> I looked at him and said, hey, you took my freedom. You don't hear me screaming. Oh, shit. I just accept Big it, facts. process Big it, facts. and we move on. That's it. So then he asked, what's going to happen? I go, well, I'm going to go upstairs, take a shower, and probably go to bed. No, what's, what's going to happen if I don't get my phone back? I go, that's a good question, Frankie. I don't know. You're not going to get me a new one? No, dude, I already got you a phone. It was your responsibility to take care of that phone. It's not fair. I go, I'm, life's not fair, Frankie, okay? But things happen. <laughs> you should get me a phone. Dude, seriously? And then he looks at me and he says, and this kind of messed with me, he goes, you should get me a phone. It's nothing for you to get me a new phone. Damn. It's nothing for you to get me a new phone. Bay Area, my son thinks that what I do is easy. He thinks it's easy because all he sees when he attends one or two shows per year is that I walk out on stage, you guys start chanting, and then cool <laughs> magically appears in his room. <laughs> Spoiled ass, yo. He doesn't realize that this is actually a job and there's sacrifice that comes along with it. So I told him, I said, listen, Frankie, how about this? How about you explain to me why I should get you a new phone. And if it makes sense, I'll do it right now. Go. I need one. <laughs> I said, no, what? Frankie, you're a teenager. You don't need a phone. A cell phone for a teenager isn't a necessity. It's a luxury, okay? It's Facts. not a necessity. Facts. It's a luxury. Big facts. Big facts. He says, what if there's an emergency? I go like what? Someone taking your phone? <laughs> what did you do today when they took your phone? I went to the, I went, I went to the, to the cafeteria and I talked to my friend Angel and he let me use his phone and I called my mom and I go and guess what? If that doesn't work, you can go to the office and let them know there's a family emergency. Please contact my mom or my dad. Next, what if you need to get a hold of me? I know what school you go to. <laughs> what about when I'm walking home? I know the route that you take. And then he pulled this one out, one of the greatest lines ever. You know what? You talk a lot about me on TV. People know who I am now. Oh, what if shit. someone tries to kidnap me? I said, you weigh 225. Good luck. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, that'll be a struggle, son. Like, that'll be a fight. That'll definitely be a fight, bro. Come on. That's grow man weight right there. You feel me? They are not kidnapping your ass without an iPhone and a box of Oreos. That's the only way that's going to happen. <laughs> I said, Frankie, do you realize how lucky you are? You had a oh, phone. Oh, shit. I didn't have a phone in school. Your mom didn't have a phone in school. If we needed to make a phone call, we had to carry change. Or we had to call collect. What's that? Oh, my God. 
Yeah. Trying to explain the concept of a collect call to my kid is like trying to explain rocket science. He'll never have to deal with it. He'll never know what it's like to be out late somewhere and have to use a phone. First of all, to find a pay phone. Right, right. If you right. see a pay phone now, you look at it like, oh, wow, they forgot to take it down. Right, right, right. Get your camera. Take a picture because that has <laughs> gone. Take a picture. He'll never know about staying out late at night and having to use one of those nasty phones and taking off that receiver. You know the nasty one that has gum and gonorrhea all over, right? <laughs> you gotta keep it far away from your face so you don't get infected. He said, he said gum and gonorrhea. Bro, dead ass. I remember the pay phones, yo. And I would never touch it to my face. Cause it was gross, bro. This shit was dirty. I don't know whose face it's been on. You know what I mean? So it would literally be like at a distance from my ear. And it's and it, it was hard to hear. You feel me? Cause the phone was far. You didn't want the shit to touch, bro. Damn, I forgot about using the pay phones. Holy shit. And then you make that phone call, you know that freaking when you make a collect call back in the day, it was expensive. He's not gonna have to do that now. Back in the day, if you made a collect call, it was a mission. It was a mission and it was expensive. If you called right. my mom collect, it better have been life or death. Yo, or that's what it was facts. Be. You called facts. My mom back in the day, shoot, we were on welfare and section eight. Every oh damn, I feel you. I feel you, bro. I feel you on that. You called my mom back in the day, shoot, we were on welfare and section eight. Every penny counted. Right, right, right. Up. I get it. Hello. And then she get the presentation. AT&T, do you accept a collect call from caller at the tone? Say only your name. You had to get creative. Mom, it's me. Pick me up at 7 at 6 for her. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I swear to God I did that shit. I swear to God I did that shit. Oh, my God. You had to get creative. Mom, it's me. Pick me up at 7 at 6 That gave her, me chills, bro. Brought back memories. Do you accept the charges? Hell no. I'm on my way, Nico. Bro, that's really how it was. Oh my God. Damn. Damn, that that skit made me, or that bit made me feel good. Wow. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this on this comedy bit. And let me know your experience with collect calls. If you had any. Y'all remember the commercial uh with a dude from um um from Scream? 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Damn. That's a throwback, yo. That's a throwback. But anyways, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you're the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.